My name is Charlie Vorasek. I'm the president of the Northwest Pennsylvania Beekeepers Association. I also work with Ernst Conservation Seed. I bring in hives into the region to help pollinate their seed field because the pollination is really key to getting a good seed set. Today, we're looking at different management styles of beehives. We're using drones as practice for marking queens. The purpose for that is because drones have no stinger and you can pick them up barehanded and you can mark them like we mark our queen. So it's something that is a good tool for beekeepers to know. We have members who brought in their own boxes that will raise a queen and they will mate in a drone heavy area with the genetics that we're looking for. A queen goes out to mate, she mates with 10 to 20 drones. So it's important to have a good drone pool. And that's what we have here. And when they go out to mate, they're gonna mate in a very strong drone population. So there's about 50 hives within three miles of here. In about three weeks, these people will be able to come back and pick up their queens with that good genetics. And so we can expand it through the region. My name is Kate Anton, and I am the laboratory manager and beekeeper for the Grossinger Lab. And, um, I work for the Center for Pollinator Research with my friend. Hi, I'm Natalie Boyle. I'm an assistant research professor in the Department of Entomology at Penn State and program coordinator for the Center for Pollinator Research. This year has been a great year for honeybees so far. Uh, we've had great nectar flows so far. We're just happy to, to be a participant and a volunteer for this event. Ernst Conservation Seeds is a really important collaborator with us as well. We're trying to learn a lot more information about what the nutritional needs are to serve pollinators and other insects in the area. As some of you may have heard, uh, bee populations are in decline pretty much across the globe right now. We're seeing fewer species represented in certain areas. Uh, as well as fewer numbers of bees being captured where we know they used to be abundant. And so one of the really important things that we can do to secure pollinator populations here in Pennsylvania is to learn more about what they need, what they want to collect, how they're foraging, uh, what plants do they like the best, and, and Ernst is, is really paramount in allowing us to do that sort of research.